Hello, I'm Wendy with an eye, and today I'm going to be doing a small patio makeover for my daughter. And it comes with this cute Chihuahua Piper. <laughs> Okay, here is the before of her patio, and I will be addressing the privacy issues she has with the other balconies. So this is what I'm working with. The air conditioner just came on, and I'm sorry for all the background noise. But... I don't have the exact dimensions of this patio, but I will get it and pop it up on the screen for you. We come around here so we can get this angle. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to film uh, properly because it is so small, but I am going to try to do my best. So it's a cute little space, nice little space. And their style is boho retro chic. And I'm going to try to uh, create that out here for them. Make this an oasis. My first chore here is to do this bed. The very first things I went for were those dead bushes in the corners of the bed. Now, decorating this patio is a housewarming gift. Our daughter and her boyfriend had recently moved into this apartment and we wanted to do something nice for them. Throughout this video, I may mention where items were purchased, but I am not sponsored or affiliated in any way. I just wanted to share some inspiration and some ideas. Cleaning out that bed was such a big job and a lot of work for such a small space. I did leave four of the existing plants. Per my daughter's request, I am keeping this as low maintenance as possible back here for them. So I have a piece of artificial turf. It is pet friendly. I ordered it from Amazon. It is five feet by three feet and I am attaching it on all sides with stakes that I also ordered from Amazon. On each side of the turf, I am adding cardboard pieces from shipping boxes, so I am upcycling those, and those will keep the grass and any weeds from seeing the light of day and growing, and on top of it, we'll be placing mulch. Here you are seeing the beginning of taking this bed from yuck to yes. The containers you see are from Amazon and per my daughter's request, she did not want me potting anything that she would have to worry with keeping alive as she works in emergency for a veterinarian hospital. So against my soul and my love of gardening and plants, but understandably, I ordered some UV rated plants from the silk tree warehouse so they should last quite a while out in the elements and i upcycled styrofoam from the shipping boxes to give them height inside those containers they will be filled in with sand to give them weight and topped with river rock for aesthetics we all love a good transformation before and after so here is the bed again before and here it is after oh i think this definitely went from yuck to yes but let me know in the comments what you think or give me a thumbs up if you think it did uh, we did have to fluff and fuss with those faux plants but really like how it turned out now with the help of my husband we are addressing her privacy issues on each side of her patio since she's on the ground level and the patios that are above her looking in so my husband is using shower curtain tension rods because they are made to withstand moisture and i ordered panels from snow city that are waterproof outdoor panels
my husband then hand screwed in little hooks from the hardware store and strung string lights from Amazon across the hooks. And this will add ambiance in the patio space when the sun sets and it worked out great that they had an outdoor outlet out there. Now the really fun part begins after cleaning the walls and the concrete slab, we're starting to bring out the rugs and in that corner back there you see a metal drum that I picked up from Michael's and it can also be used as an extra seat and on top of that is another potted faux plant. And out comes their new bistro set that we purchased from Walmart. The one they were using that you saw in the befores was actually ours. That was a housewarming gift from my parents to us 20 years ago when we bought our first house. Now they have their own. The seat cushions you see are actually hers from before because the ones I purchased were way too big. The lumbar pillows in the chairs are from World Market and so is the rug. going to the smaller section of her patio area and pay no attention to that outdoor extension cord hanging down from the string lights. It will be hidden after another item is added in just a moment. Brought in another outdoor rug picked up from World Market and brought in a four foot bench from Amazon. Added a lovely terracotta pot that I picked up from our local small business garden center last year and added a faux fern in that and added a touch of whimsy as well. And that touch of whimsy is the garden statue you see. It is the white rabbit from the illustrations in the books of Alice in Wonderland. I purchased this from the Victorian Trading Company and got it in black. Going back over to the larger part of her patio, I'm going to bring in one last faux plant in a terracotta pot that I already had and going to hang a gold bamboo framed mirror. This mirror was purchased from Urban Outfitters. On the opposite wall of the mirror, I hung two 13 by nine framed art prints, also from Urban Outfitters. And here is the other item needed to be added before we can hide that extension cord. It is a water fountain purchased from Amazon. The final touch for the bed was the addition of these weatherproof outdoor lanterns from Pier 1 Imports and inside are battery operated candles. The addition of hanging that artwork really tied in decorating this patio so well. It turns that outdoor space into the immediate feeling of a living space. And this is where my voice is going to leave you to watch the remainder of the results of decorating her patio. I want to thank you so much for watching. And at the very end, I'm going to add some beautiful still shots that my daughter took after we had gone and the sun had started to set.